Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Redstone video and today we're going to be taking a look at probably one of the most useful builds I've ever showcased on my channel. Seriously, this thing is so very important, you have to build it in your survival world, it's just a must. It's one of those things that just has to be done much like an iron farm or a wheat farm or something like that. You are going to need this self-building candy cane. That is right ladies and gentlemen, I've created a self-building candy cane using Redstone and I think it's pretty awesome. So the way that this one works it really is quite simple. All we have to do is head down to the bottom and hit this button right here. And as you can see, our candy cane pops up. Then all of the sand that drops down it into the ground. And as you can see, the candy cane is standing free and tall. I think this thing is absolutely epic and I've been using it all day long. So now I should probably explain to you guys how all of this stuff works. So down at the bottom here, we've got ourselves a button. When we hit that button, that sends a pulse through this redstone torch tower. Now, of course, that means that it sequentially powers this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, which, of course, powers our five-piston extender. So that pushes all of the blocks upwards with all of the sand going right the way up to the top, and that is what makes our candy cane pop out of the ground. Heading back over to the button now, we've got this little redstone torch, which runs into this monostable circuit. Now, because we've got this redstone torch right here, that makes this monostable circuit a falling edge monostable circuit, which essentially means that when you hit the button, this piston will retract, then when the button turns off, this piston will extend, sending a pulse through all of this redstone, up through these half slabs, and into these pistons over here. Now, the reason that these things are important is because if they didn't exist, then all of the sand would stay up by the candy cane, which wouldn't look particularly brilliant. You wouldn't have this airspace right here. It would just be a gigantic slab of sand, and nobody likes the way that that one looks. So when the pulse comes through, these pistons here extend, pulling back of these pistons to allow the sand to fall down. Then we have these pistons down at the bottom here, which push iron blocks outwards, making sure that the sand stops in the correct position. Now, the reason that's important is because otherwise you'd have a little hole in the floor where the sand is, and that also wouldn't look pretty. Now, obviously, because this build is a tiny bit on the larger side, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial for this one. However, I am going to chuck a world download down in the description so that you guys can check it out. But I haven't made a backup of the world, which means, of course, I'm going to have to manually reset the entire thing because this is a one-use type of deal. I cannot retract the candy cane back down into the ground, even though that would be really quite awesome, but also incredibly complicated. So I'm not going to be working on that one. Now, as always, I feel the need to mention that I am doing these Advent Calendar videos in collaboration with Exumavoid. So if you do want to check out today's Advent Calendar video from him, there'll be a link to that one on the screen and also down in the description. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.